Order in the court, Night Court that is. It is the latest reboot to hit 11 Alive with a fresh new cast and one Emmy winning legacy character returning. I got to chat with stars John Larroquette and Melissa Rauch about bringing back this sitcom classic. Take a look. All right, let's do this. And Melissa, you are actually the executive producer, so I gotta ask, what made you think, and I imagine it was probably 2022, hey, you know what, let's go back to Night Court. Just thinking about the times we're in and how we could all really use some laughter and yes. comfort, there's just nothing better to me than revisiting the interior of that courthouse and seeing uh, all the fun that came out of there and seeing if we can um, just tap into that. And then, of course, the idea of getting to see this gentleman reprise the role oh, yeah. um, is something that I personally wanted to see. So it was very selfish. Uh, just, right, right. It's all about me wanting to, to see him do that. And Melissa, you're actually playing Judge Harry Stone's daughter, the ever optimistic Abby. And the late Harry Anderson really owned that character, played him with kind of an offbeat, whimsical charm. How did you decide you were going to prepare for that role? I tried to pick up his cadence here and there. I didn't want to, by any means, do an impression or um, a carbon copy of what he was doing, right. but just to see if there was any little bits that I could pick up because I was such a fan of his as well. I really wanted to get my gaveling in check, so I did a lot of um, arm workouts <laughs> in preparation to make sure that I was yeah. hitting the gavel in a, in a really powerful way. Yes. All right, John, stepping back into this role, Dan Fielding, so well written, absolutely talking about owning a role. Was it four Emmys? I mean, just incredible. Were you excited to step back into it? Did you think, um, let's leave the past in the past, or did she have to convince you? I think all three of those, actually. Um, <laughs> at first, it was sort of leave the past in the past. Uh, you know, 35 years later, looking at myself and wondering, you know, who, I don't think, I'm not sure this is a really good idea. Uh, yeah. But Melissa was very convincing, and <laughs> once she decided she wanted to be in it and not just be the executive producer of it, I started thinking of it differently in right. that how often does an actor get a chance to reprise a role that he played three and a half decades ago to see where that character is in life now, and is he still funny, and can he still make an audience laugh? And so it became a challenge, and once we started working, it became a joy to Aww. be on the set with Melissa and the other cast members. My heart is closed for business. I've had the great romance of my life that's more than most people get. I know you don't believe that. I mean, just tonight you said that we're all entitled to more than one great love. Sure, you were defending a polygamous cult leader, but I could tell it was from the heart. So what kind of Dan are we going to see now 30-something years later? Well, he's a little slower, uh, obviously a little uh, grayer, not a lot grayer. <laughs> And just trying to find, you know, he, he sort of gave up on life, I think, and is pulled yeah. out of his miasma of loneliness by the fact that Harry Stone's daughter shows up and asks for his help. And he feels obligated to assist her. And, Aww. you know, we'll see how he responds to it with each episode. A new challenge comes to him being being the absolute senior member of this new right. clan of, of actors and characters. And slowly he begins to uh, um, feel at home there. Oh, what a dynamic duo. And guess what? You can find our entire full interview right now on AtlantaAndCompany.com. And don't miss an all-new episode of Night Court tonight at 8 o'clock on 11 Alive. And please, let's keep